everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Throwback Thursday and uh, before we go any further, I'll tell you what's on my lips, which I also, I had to look at my last Throwback Thursday to, to remind myself of who picked this Throwback Thursday's candle and I realize I'm wearing the same lip combination, I, or at least the lip gloss anyway. I don't know how that works, but anyway, I'm wearing um, Lined and Filled Lip Pencil by NYX in the color, oh boy, where are you? Oh, it's almost, it's in color natural. That's what's lined and filled in my lips. And of course what's on top is what I wore last Thursday apparently. Imani's Social Climber Lip Gloss. Um, and thanks to Tezzy Kintz, uh, she selected this week's Throwback Thursday candle. Of course, I'm not, I'm not wearing nail polish, so that's why I'm not going there. So mm -hmm. Tessie Kintz, thank you very much. She picked from M of WG, Oakwood and Pear. And this is the jar here, which actually, I've had a few different jars, a few, few different candles from M of WG in this container. And I have to say, I kind of like this one the best. I like that I can see through it. So, but before we go any further, thankfully, they put the scent description notes inside the lid. For those of you who are unaware, in Canada with Bath and Body Works, we don't get scent descriptions on the bottoms of the candle, so I have to look it up constantly online um, before I make my review. Um, so that, there you go. So I'm very pleased when this sort of thing happens. So M of WG describes their oak wood and pear candle as the richness of fresh picked pear and wild kints spun with warm oak wood soft chestnut and amber accented with sweet vanilla bourbon. First of all, um, when I bought this, I bought this for $14.99 at HomeSense here in Canada. So that's Home Outfitters, TJ Maxx, Marshalls in the States. Um, so $14.99 Canadians, probably like $9.99 American. Uh, <laughs> with that being said, it's got a really cool lid. It actually seals, um, it's even got a seal on it. Then there's this little charm on here and it's actual wood and it's burnt into um, the name of it here is actually burnt into the wood. So that's actually a really nice feature. Again, as I mentioned before, I really enjoy the fact that I can see the illumination. Oh, and I just saw like this really big indent here of wax. Um, interesting. I never saw that until now. Okay. Scent appeal when I picked this up at the store. I'd say it was about a seven. It was unique. It was something different for me. I didn't really know. I bought M and WG. Bought a bunch of these particular candles all at the same time. Uh, they were all at the, you know, when it happens at discount stores, they sort of all come out at once. So I, I picked it up. I picked this and I think two or three other ones up at the same time. And I wanted to try something different. So to me, it was a little bit different, but I, I wanted to try it. So uh, anyway, and then Tessa Kintz, she picked it this week. And so I've been burning it. And I have to tell you guys, I don't know if you can get your hands on this in store online, what have you, this, it actually gives Bath & Body Works um, Sparkling Pear Riesling a run for its money. And I adore that candle. So, but it's a little bit different, but the pear note is just so divine. It's got a spiced pear and a uh, pear note that is beyond anything else. That is what I smell as a spiced pear. And um, so I guess it would be a Amber accented, Ac sorry the guys, the light, uh, accented with amber. I don't know if I, I would say vanilla for sure with the pear and the amber, but I can't say that I smell chestnut of any kind. Um, I don't know what quince smells like, or quince, I don't know. I don't know what that smells like, but what I really get, sorry again with the lights, uh, is definitely a spiced pear with a little bit of vanilla it's just it's really good and like i said for those of us who are fans of bath and body works sparkling pear riesling this gives it a really good run for its money the burn itself has done really well it did start to sit along the top it's hard to show this along the top is supposed to be the same clear clarity as this but there is some sitting along the rim because it does kind of taper inwards toward the top if they kept it at the same width around uh here like if the opening was right here um, I think that it would probably not, I would not have this problem, but it's not really a problem. It's actually less sudden than a lot of my Bath & Body Works candles. So, um, <clears throat> the burn has been fantastic. This is what the wicks look like. Again, I trim my wicks prior to my next burn. There's that little dip in there. I don't know what that's about, but anyway, didn't cause any issues. It's been burning evenly. It's been burning beautifully. 
and I would highly recommend getting this one. It's again Oakwood and Pear by M of WG, which is makers of wax goods. Um, apparently, I like throwing things around too. Um, yeah, I highly recommend this. I would I would buy more myself because, like I say, um, this does give Sparkling Pear Riesling a run for its money. So thanks again to Tessa Kintz or Tessie Kintz. Uh, so now you guys have seen on Instagram, which is Kanda Kim 1978, Kanda spelled with a K. I did post a whole bunch of photo of all my new, brand new Throwback Thursday candles for the winter edition, which is December, January, February. So we have a few. So I'm going to run through these really quickly because I, I will be here for a while if I don't. So the first candle that, again, the first person down below in the comment section to comment asking me to pick one of these candles that's the candle I'll be burning and reviewing for you all next week so the first one is of uh, from DW home it's winter uh, frost uh, winter frost golden shortbread and again from DW home peppermint stick I have a few DW homes actually there's quite a bit I'm gonna try to go in order uh, DW home holiday spice in the three wick candle there go and also DW Home Sugar Cookie. And then we have two trap candles which actually have come back from last year. These are the couple of the ones that didn't uh, get selected last year. So Trap Fragrances Candle and Lemon Sugar Cookie. Same company for Winter Air. Okay, we're gonna go Yankee Candle. I'm excited because Anthony at Candle Cafe, he's a different packaging, but he was raving about this one, so I'm really excited. Um, hope that I have as good a luck as he has with his. Yankee Can Candles Christmas Cookie. Really cute packaging too, very festive. Um, this one, oh, this is also a DW Home Candle. It's Winter Crystal Edition in Cinnamon Spice. That's what that looks like. There's a lot of those ones in my store. And then I have a Sensationals, which I'm not sure now. I was I was thinking they were the same as Sensationals brand that sells the wax melt cubes, but I don't know if that's the case, to be honest with you, so I don't know. <laughs> Sensationals Peppermint Stick. And then, oh, I might as well just go to here. And then I actually have another, oh my, another DW Home, an Amber and Tonka. This is, again, another one that's come back from last year. It was not selected, and on that same trail and that same path is Pecksniff England's limited edition pine and clove that I picked up last year that no one selected. Brought it back, and then the last three of Bath and Body Works Evergreen, which I know on Instagram was huge. This between this and one of the other ones, people were really hoping to get this one picked. So Evergreen from last year, 2015, and that's the other one that people were talking about. Uh, Comfort or Fireside from. 2015 and lastly we've got the, the candle to me that does not smell like Christmas jingle all the way but I don't mind it but um, slap on Honolulu scent and there you go uh, anyway that's also from the Christmas line from Bath and Body Works in 2015 so thank you guys again for joining me and for all my American friends or those who celebrate Thanksgiving uh, American Thanksgiving it is today I want you guys to have a lot of fun be safe uh, enjoy the time with your family and friends. Um, this is definitely a special time of year and I know in Canada our Thanksgiving is like the second Monday in October. So I think it was like the 10th this year. But yours is so much closer to Christmas. So enjoy it. Enjoy the time. It's precious. You just don't know how much longer you're going to have, right? So live every day to its fullest. Alright you guys, be safe and have fun.